Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you three selections for tomorrow's race and before I get into that I just want to reflect on how our tips were formed today. In the end it was a bit of a mixed bag. We had a winner uh, at the curb with my nap of the day so if you're on that one there that was a good performance. However I was a bit disappointed with the next best hit man. I didn't think Harry Cobden gave him the best of rides. I know he is a bit of a frustrating horse that likes uh, to finish second but I just thought if Harry Cobden had been a little bit more alert, I just thought he got him into some of the wrong positions at times and he and he wasn't making a move when he should have been and he just gave Riders of the Storm um, first run and uh, in the end, I think that's what won in uh, the race, even though obviously he did put up a good game performance and yeah, it was just very frustrating to be honest with you. If that had won, it would have been a really good day of the Napa Next Best Double, but that's the way things go. The other selection, Lieutenant Command, he was very well fancied for the Munster National, fell halfway round. Hard to know if he would have got involved in the finish, but yeah, that was how he fared. So yeah, mixed bag overall, but hopefully we can have a better day tomorrow. And like I say, I've got three selections for tomorrow's race, and we're going to be going to air for my first pick of the day that runs in the 140. I'm going to be going my nap here, and I'm going to take on the short-priced favourite sizing potsy with a horse called Jet Legs for Callum Bewley and Martin Todd Hunter. Currently available at 6 to 1. I'm going to recommend a one point each way selection here. Now, on form, Size and Potsy should be winning this race. But he's not from four over hurdles. And it's a bit concerning, in my opinion, that he's moved yards from Jessica Harrington's to uh, David Pipes. Obviously, went to the sales. He cost 95000 Been bought by Kenny Alexander, owner of Honeysuckle, who you have to respect. But, yeah, Size and Potsy, first time out here. I'm a little bit concerned. And I just think he's a bit vulnerable tomorrow. And I've been quite, uh, I've been quite impressed by what I've seen of Jet Legs. Now I know he needs to improve a bit on the form, but I thought he shaped okay on his reappearance effort at Perth, where he probably just needed the run. Ran on, like I said, uh, quite well in the closing stages. The time before that, however, you go back through some of his form last season. I thought his uh, second place effort behind a horse of uh, Donald McCain's Mask Crusader was actually uh, not a bad run. And I think if he replicates that kind of form tomorrow, I think he's a serious player. And I just think size and potsy at that kind of price is way too vulnerable. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if uh, um, our selection could uh, take his scalp tomorrow. And I think he makes sense as a great each way bet. He's six to one. I think if he uh, runs up to any of those runs on his last two efforts, he'll definitely make the frame. And he could just be good enough tomorrow. And he'll have that fitness edge as well underneath his belt. I think, uh, yeah, I think he can cause a, an upset tomorrow and that's why I'm going to take him on uh, in the 140 at uh, We then go uh, to an extra selection which runs in the 340 at Red Car of a horse called Lightning Company for Harrison Shaw and Ben Hasdam. When I looked earlier at this horse, he was around about 9-1, to one, but he has been clipped in for a bit of support now. He's currently available at 6-1. You can get four places with a few uh, firms that offer him four places, Skybet, Betfred. So I'm going to recommend a 0.5 each race selection here. I think the key to this um, horse's chances tomorrow will be the go, and he loves a little bit of dig in the ground. He won here earlier in the season over this course and distance. He's got a good record at the track, two wins, and when he didn't, when he finished third. So it shouldn't be a problem tomorrow at the track. Also, as well, he comes here off a little bit of a break. Uh, has not been seen since the summer, but he can go well, well fresh. So that doesn't concern me at all. And I think he's got a good chance. Still one as well. It's not a bad draw. If he can get into a good position tomorrow under Harrison Shaw, I think he's a lively player in this race and can definitely go close. We then go to uh, my next best of the day. Um, in the last race at Leicester, the 4.35, Kate Moss for David Egan and David Lochnane. Currently available at 9.2. Going to recommend a one-point win bet here. Now, this horse was an eye-catcher last time out. Uh, when she uh, ran on quite strongly in the closing stages at York over five furlongs after she blew the start. I think if she can get a bit more in terms here, she's definitely a player off this kind of mark. It's an easier grade as well she's going to be dropping down into tomorrow. So I think she's more than capable. She goes well at this time of year as well. She's won in the autumn uh, last season. She won't mind a little bit of ease in the ground as well. Plenty of good form to her name earlier in the season. I think if she runs up to that kind of standard, I just think the, the front two in the market a little bit uh, vulnerable to Hamilton runners. So for me, I think uh, she's a really good player, uh, a good player here, and yeah, can go well at uh, nine to two. And I wouldn't be at all surprised actually if she went maybe went off favourite tomorrow. Maybe seeing her going off around about the three to four, uh, three to one, eleven four kind of mark. So yeah, that's going to be uh, my last tip of the day. So there are the three selections then for tomorrow's racing. Let me know in the comments box below what you fancy tomorrow. If you're enjoying these videos, remember to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe here to the YouTube channel at Lucky Loaders Fifteen. Please remember to gamble responsibly, and we'll be seeing you again soon. Thank you.